So it's pretty clear the direction Tesla is going for, a 48 volt architecture that reduces the amount of wiring, the amount of weight, and the complexity and failure points of the overall vehicles. A 48 volt system runs at a much higher efficiency while providing the same amount of power at a reduced amount of amperage. This all in all makes the car a lot lighter with the reduction of copper wires and brings a lot of new features that we should be expecting in the next couple years to come. Added on top of it all, it brings another level of safety in terms of the wiring itself. Now, if you guys are into more of these electrical stuff, there are other channels on YouTube. I definitely recommend Electrical Engineering. He's really awesome over there. But the switch from 12 volt to 48 volt is going to bring a lot of significant changes and another world of awesomeness. Now, one of the biggest advantages of switching over to the 48 volt system is going to be steer by wire. Of course, with the introduction of the Cybertruck, you guys already know they switched away from the mechanical steering over to the new electronic steer by wire. Essentially, there is no direct connection from your steering wheel down to the tires hitting the roads. Everything is controlled through a computer. Now with that, the system is going to require a lot of power and the 48 volt architecture is going to provide all of that. The same amount of power, less current and maintaining the heat threshold. All of that plays into the part as as to why this is needed for the new steer by wire system. With all that being said, the very next car that's getting the exact same treatment is going to be the refresh Model Y Juniper. First off, the Model Y is the best selling car in the world at this very point, and it's likely going to continue being the best selling car for the next couple years, at least until the refresh or the new Model 2 25,000 car gets released. With the transition from 12 volt over to 48 volt, Tesla is going to take no chance at making the newer car having the older technology. The Model Y is definitely going to be going with this architecture. There is no better time and no better vehicle other than the Model Y to have this transition done as it's being reassembled. The production line is being redesigned. On top of it all, all the electronics that have been redesigned for the Cybertruck's 48 volt is going to be put into the Model Y. Things such as the seat motors, the window regulator, and everything else that runs runs the interior of the car. What essentially makes this vehicle one of the best vehicles in the Tesla lineup is the fact that it's going to take every nice part from every single model and push it into this exact package. All the goodies that you see in the Model S and X, the Model 3 Highlands, and the Cybertruck is going to be in this Model Y. So there is no doubt it is going to be an astounding car. Now I do have a bunch of videos specific to the Model Y refresh. If you guys want to check it out, I'll drop it in the description below and up top there but I will have a specific playlist you guys can check out on my channel over there you guys will find the timeline the dates and all the new things that's happening to this vehicle now of course with this vehicle being the latest version of being worked on right now there is a sense of urgency to future proof the design once it comes out so everything that you see in the current Cybertruck right now should make its way into the Model Y things such as bi-directional charging is going to make its way into this vehicle where you can charge your car and power your home using the 240 volt outlet and using the charging port itself. There of course will be the 48 volt architecture with this new Model Y which reduces the amount of copper requirement which in turn reduces the weight of the car making it more agile at the same time making it a lot safer because of the current going through those wires. Now the most important change to this Model Y is going to be the inclusion of steer by wire as this will bring the future of steering design designed to this vehicle to begin with and then eventually make its way to all other models. Similar to the Cybertruck, you will be able to turn lock to lock without twisting your arms and Tesla can make a lot of fine adjustments simply through a software update over the air. There are endless possibilities that can be adjusted simply by a software update, things like the agile or the turning angle of the vehicle when you turn the wheel, things like crab mode is now possible and a lot of other different actions and features can simply be done with just an over the air update. One other super important thing too is you won't mess up up your wheel with a bald spot if you do play buggy mode in your vehicle. That is something that has been driving me nuts all these years. On another side note, when the steer by wire comes to the Model Y, Tesla can officially add a yoke steering if it, that's an optional thing that most of us want. You won't have to twist your hands over cross and mess up your driving position just because you really want that yoke. So yeah, so many cool things that can possibly
simply happen by just simply adding steer by wire and the 48 volt architecture. All of this is going to be insane. And if you guys are waiting out for a Model Y, I would definitely recommend waiting a little bit longer because you guys are going to miss out on so many different things with this redesign once it happens. And of course, we have talked about the ETA of the Juniper coming out late next year. So this is where you guys have a chance to really get excited for this SUV as it is the best selling car in the world today and will definitely continue to be so. I will continue to keep you guys as updated as possible, especially on the new Model Y Juniper now as the Cybertruck and the Model 3 Highland has had its spotlight and it's taken a while for it to die down. And once the Model Y starts to pick up, I will be letting you guys know every little detail about it. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell notification and follow me on Twitter or X at Hey John E if you guys haven't done so already. I love to hear you guys' thoughts on everything. Drop it in the comments below. And if you guys want to chat with me personally, head over to X. You guys can DM me or just tweet me over there. That would be super awesome. Anyways, this should wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John. Once again, peace out.